Hey, uh, what is your name and can you tell me about yourself? Nice to meet you. My name is Verbi, and I'm a friendly AI assistant here to help answer your questions and make your life easier. I'm constantly learning and improving, so I can provide you with the most accurate and helpful information. I'm a chatty bot, but I'll keep my answers short and sweet. Can you tell me a fun thing to do while uh, I'm on a trip to Los Angeles over the weekend? Leye has plenty of fun activities. Why not explore the Griffith Observatory at sunset? Take the tram ride, gaze at the city skyline, and enjoy the stunning views of LA. If you're visiting on a Friday or Saturday, stick around for the free public lectures and events. It's a unique and unforgettable LA experience. A few days ago, Google announced Gemini Live, which is their AI-powered voice assistant. It's their answer to GPT-40 with advanced voice mode which was announced back in May 2024, but we are still waiting for it. To Google's credit, Gemini Live is available to advanced users and comes with a, some pretty amazing voices. Here's one of the voices I have, but there are more to choose from. Here's another voice I can use. You can pick me now and always make a change later in settings. Or maybe you'd like to listen to a voice like this. A pretty great one, if I do say so myself. Great. So this got me thinking whether we can replicate some of the functionality of these voice assistant using the existing tools that we have. So we're going to create a system that is going to have four different components. The first one is going to be user input and output. We will get user input in the form of speech that is going to be passed on to a speech to text model that will transcribe the user input. The text will be given to the LLM to generate a response in the form of text. And then that text is going to be converted to converted into speech using another model. And we're going to play that speech back to the user. The system is going to have memory, so it will remember previous conversations. Now keep in mind, unlike a Gemini Live or GPT-40, this is not a multimodal system we are putting together different models to generate a voice-to-voice -voice chat assistant. And the goal is to generate a system that can have the least available latency using different tools available on the market. Now, to put all these different models together, we need a framework or a system. And luckily, I have been working on a project called Verbi, which is supposed to be a voice assistant. I created this with the help of community a few months ago, but never really got a chance to cover it on this channel. This is a modular voice assistant application for experimenting with state-of-the-art transcription, response generation, and text-to-speech models. And it has support for a number of different API providers, including OpenAI, Grok, Eleven Labs, Cartesia, and DeepGram APIs. Support for other APIs is coming soon. And you can also run text-to-speech, speech-to-text, and local LLM models as a part of this system. We already have 159 stars, so check it out and make sure to give it a star if you like it. The idea is that you can select different models from different providers and see which one gives you the best possible latency and response accuracy. For my experiments, I found that the speech-to-text model hosted by Croc is the best model in terms of latency for uh, speech to text conversion also for llm infants the grok hosted models are best in class and for uh, text to speech we're going to be using cartesia ai cartesia ai apart from deep chrome have one of the best text to speech system and they have the lowest latency again you can replace all these models with local and open source models However, you will need a pretty powerful computer to run these and get responses in acceptable time frame. Project Webby has support for local models and I'll show you how to uh, set those up, but I'm not gonna walk you through a whole tutorial in this specific video. So we'll set this up locally and then I'll show you a few uh, options, but let's first talk about its features. It's a modular design, so you can easily switch between different models for transcription, LLMs, and text-to-speech. 
It has support for multiple API, API providers, including OpenAI, Croc, DeepCrumbs, and we are planning on uh, adding more. And it also has support for local models. It can record audio and playback as well. Now, here's the project structure. If you want to change any model, you will just need to change them in config.py. Now, here are the step-by-step -step instructions on how to uh, get started. So first, we'll need to clone the repo and then create a virtual environment, uh, install all the required packages, provide different API keys that you'll need, and also update the config file. This will basically control which model you want to use for transcription, LLM, and text-to-speech. And as I said, you can run uh, local models via Olama. There's support for fast uh, whisper, so you can run that as well. And for local text-to-speech, we currently support mellow text-to-speech model. But would love contributions from the community if you think that you can add extra features to this project. So please clone the repo, submit a PR. I would love to integrate those. So in order to clone it, just use git clone and then provide the repo. As you can see, I have already cloned the repo, so I'm not going to do this step. Next, I'm going to create a new Conda environment using Conda create dash n. The environment name is going to be Verbi and we're going to be using Python 3.10. So it will ask me to install different packages. We're going to say yes. Let's activate the virtual environment that we just created using Conda Activate Verbi. And you can see that we are in this new virtual environment now. Next, we need to install all the requirements. So we're going to use a pip install our requirements.txt. This will install different packages that we will need in order to run different models. Okay, next we need to set up which model to use for which purpose. So for that, you need to go to the voice assistant package or folder, then click on config.py. So here, you will need to set up your transcription model, response model, and the text-to-speech model. The possible values are OpenAI, Grok, DeepGram, and Fast, Whisper API. There are detailed instructions in the repo on how to set up the Fast Whisper API. If you're using the Whisper model locally. Uh, for LLM, you can use these options. We're going to be adding more soon. And for the text-to-speech models currently, you can use OpenAI, DeepGram, 11 Labs, Mellow, a text-to-speech model that you will need to run locally. Instructions again are in the repo or Cartesia AI. So these are possible values. In my case, I have found Grok for transcription plus the LLM inference to be the best options in terms of the uh, lowest possible latency. And Cartesia also has pretty amazing response time for our text-to-speech systems. So I'm going to set those up, but we will need to provide the API keys for these models in order, to, in order for us to be able to use them. So for that, you need to look at the examples.env file. So provide the API keys for the models that you're using and then just rename this examples.env to .env. Now, I'm not gonna show you my .env because it has all my API keys. Now, for text-to-speech, the two best options are DeepGram as well as Cartesia. These are the two solutions that will give you the best possible latency. 11 Labs is another option, but the latency is a bit higher compared to these other two options. So for example, here we can select different voices. So I'm going to select this Australian man and see how long it takes to generate speech with this text. In the early dawn of human civilization, innovation was driven by necessity. From the invention of the wheel to the creation of written language. So this is pretty fast, right? So that's why I wanted to use Cartesia AI for my text-to-speech model. Okay, so here are my settings again. Croc for transcription and for the LLM response and uh, Cartesia for text-to-speech. And we can switch them around pretty easily. And for Grok, we're going to be using the uh, Llama 3.8 billion model. Now, in order to run the system, uh, we're going to run this file called Run Voice Assistant. Uh, in here, we're piecing all the different models together. You also want to provide your system message here. So here I'm saying you are a helpful assistant uh, called Verbi. You're friendly and fun, help the user, 
uh, and I think I guess like I'll modify this to and you will help the users with the request your answers are short and concise right so if you want to give your um, assistant any persona just change this system prompt now you can select different voices if you want there are a number of different customizations that you can make I'll probably create another subsequent video walking through the architecture and the code base so let me know if that's something you're interested in but in order to run our voice assistant all you need to do is just type run python voice assistant.py hey uh, what is your name and can you tell me about yourself nice to meet you my name is verbi and i'm a friendly ai assistant here to help answer your questions and make your life easier i'm constantly learning and improving so i can provide you with the most accurate and helpful information i'm a chatty bot but I'll keep my answers short and sweet. Can you tell me a fun thing to do while uh, I'm on a trip to Los Angeles over the weekend? Leye has plenty of fun activities. Why not explore the Griffith Observatory at sunset? Take the tram ride, gaze at the city skyline, and enjoy the stunning views of LA. If you're visiting on a Friday or Saturday, stick around for the free public lectures and events. It's a unique and unforgettable LA experience. Are there any uh, beaches I can visit? LA has some amazing beaches. You should totally check out Venice Beach, Santa Monica Pier and Malibu Beach. They're all within a 30 minute drive from each other. Venice Beach has a lively boardwalk, street performers and great eats. Santa Monica Pier has an iconic Ferris wheel and amusement park. Malibu Beach is a bit more laid back with stunning views and great surfing spots. Which one sounds like a vibe? Okay, so I'm going to close this. But this was the real time responses that we we're getting. There were no editing. And this is the uh, speed that you can expect, which is pretty amazing. Now, right now, we're just talking with the LLM itself, but you can basically replace the LLM with a rag system where it can look up information or you can give the LLM to do function calling if you want it to retrieve information from something like a web server or do web browsing for you. So the possibilities are limitless here and I'm going to be building on top of this project. Now, just to show you how easy it is to replace this. So let's say we want to use the open AI version of the Whisper API. So I'm going to do that. Then let's say we also want to use an OpenAI model, which is going to be GPT-4.0. And for voice, I will still keep it to Cartesia. Let's run this again. Hey, uh, I'm planning a, uh, a trip to Paris. Uh, what are the different things that I should take during summer? That sounds amazing. For a summer trip to Paris, make sure to pack. 1. Light clothing, t-shirts, shorts, dresses, 2. Comfortable walking shoes, 3. Sunglasses and a hat, 4. Light jacket or sweater for cooler evenings, 5. Sunscreen, 6. Travel adapter for electronics, 7. Reusable water bottle, 8. A small backpack or tote for daily outings, 9. A travel guide or map, 10. Your All right, uh, so there was a little bit more la latency compared to the previous approach. But let's try another voice system and in this case we're going to replace this with 11 labs uh can you tell me a fun fact about sun and the solar system sure did you know that the sun makes up about 99.86 percent of the total mass of our solar system that's how massive it is compared to everything else orbiting around it Okay, that's great to know. What is the biggest planet in the solar system? The biggest planet in our solar system is Jupiter. It's so large that over 1,300 Earths could fit inside it. Okay, so you can see this was a different voice from 11Lab and you can experiment with different options in here. The whole idea behind this project is that it's modular you can bring in different components based on your own needs. In a subsequent video, I'll show you how to run all of these things with local models. But for that, the latency is not going to be as good as you get through some of these APIs. 
especially if you're using Croc and Cartesia. So do check out the Wurby project. We would love contributions from the community to make it a better system. Also, if you like it, make sure to give it a star. We'll highly appreciate that. Anyways, thanks for watching. And as always, see you in the next one.